What's good, family? What's good? IOBA. I'm TC. So before I get started on what I want to talk about, excuse me, I got to get a little business out of the way. The piece behind me, the uh, saxophone player, is 18 by 24 acrylic piece that I just finished up this weekend. Now, if you are interested in this piece or any other piece of art that you see behind me, reach out to me. I'll leave my information in the description box. And um, you can contact me and you can, uh, you know, you can order a piece of artwork. Okay. Now, I've done that. Now on to my next bit of, uh, bit of uh, shit I want to talk about. So, Barack Obama... Last week this was now. I think it was last week. I should have I should have made a video about it then, but I didn't. Last week Obama came out of the woodwork and said that if Bernie Sanders looks like he's about to run away with the Democratic nomination, then he gonna come out and say something. He gonna have to. He gonna have to. More or less, words to that effect. He gonna have to do something about it. He gonna have to come out of come out of retirement and, and throw his weight behind another candidate. So what to me that to me that is one of the most fucked up things Barack Obama could have said. Mr. Hope and Change. He ain't about hoping and changing a motherfucking thing. He's just a straight up corporate fucking Democrat. And it's like I said, anybody that really wants to change things they get ostracized and suppressed. That's what they're trying to do to um, to Bernie Sanders. Now, I still ain't made up my mind as to whether I just want to, you know, leave the uh, right in a presidential candidate and lead and vote down ballot Democrat. But uh, I ain't made up my mind yet. But I'm leaning towards Sanders because. Aside from aside from <clears throat> the fact that he hasn't he hasn't promised black people anything for my vote, he hasn't done that. Aside from that fact, I like the free uh, state college. I like Medicare for all. I like shrinking the military. I like uh, police reform. You know, I like, uh, you know, a housing bill, a jobs bill to be passed. These are the things I'd like to see happen. I'd also really love for him. It would make it a lot easier for me to swing my support behind him if he could get behind a black agenda and offer black people something tangible for our vote. He should really do that. And then that would just push him right over the top. He'll just destroy everybody else if if he could just you know come at black people with something we can use. Now, Medicare for all and free college and police reform and all the things I mentioned before are things that we can use, but those are things for everybody. You got a bunch of motherfucking special interest groups out there to get promised things just for themselves. You know, LGBT, Hispanics, women, white men, everybody except black people, American descendants of slavery, everybody except us can get promised something directly. And if somebody act like they want to do something like that for us, they scared the crackers ain't going to vote for them. Well, that speaks to how really racist this country is, doesn't it? And then for Barack Obama to bring his monkey ass out of retirement and say some shit like, if Bernie Sanders looks like he's running away with it, he's going to have to step in or he's going to have to do whatever. You know, that, 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 that's some really foul shit, man. He don't, he don't, or maybe he does, people don't realize how, how, how messed up and how foul that is for him to say as a Democrat and as a person who ran on a hope and change policy. You know, but again, for a person like me, me who got hip to that motherfucker early, I knew he wasn't shit. 
And yes, I did vote for his ass twice, but I knew he wasn't shit. So that's the second thing I want to talk about. Is that, is, is that Barack Obama coming out, coming out against Bernie Sanders, coming out against progressives like that, saying we moving too far to the left. Man, listen, we so far to the right. The nation has been moved so far to the right. It ain't even fucking funny. So in order to counter that, you need to you need to go the other way. And all that moderate shit, that ain't what kind of country we living in. We ain't living in no moderate motherfucking country. Moderates don't do shit. They just want to maintain the fucking status quo. And that's what old, uh, old boy Pete Buttigieg and um, Obama, uh, what's that nigga name? Joe Biden talk about. How nothing's going to fucking change. That's why they never answer any questions or any, anything concrete or deliberate. They just, you know, these can dancers and never really answer a question directly. I like, I like an old man like, old, like Bernie Sanders. You know, he pushing motherfucking 80. A guy like that don't give a fuck. A guy like that, you know, 20 years from now, he... He gonna be ninety something years old. He's gonna be retired or dead. People at the beginning of their life, babies, and at the end of their life, old people, tend to tell the truth more. So you know, if I'm gonna vote for one of them, I said this a bunch of times, but if I'm gonna vote for one of the current crop of Democrats, it's gonna have to. I don't see how anybody can. And can vote for anybody other than Joe, um, than uh, Bernie Sanders. I don't see how you can vote for anybody other than Bernie Sanders if you're a Democrat and if you really want to change the country. Because voting for anybody other than him, you're just going to get more of the same Obama bullshit. Ain't nothing going to fucking change. Especially not for black people. You know, I mean, even with Bernie Sanders, ain't shit going to change for black people. He had already said that. But. At least I'll be able to go to the doctor and not have it break me. At least my, my grandbabies will be able to go to school and not come out with a whole boatload of motherfucking debt just because they wanted an education. At least they'll be able to, if the police reform comes through, be able to walk down the street and exhale when they go by a, a cop. You know, I got a lot of grandsons and great-grandsons. I don't want to see them all gaffled up for nothing just for being black. So police reform, I'd like to see that, you know. Um, but I'd also like to see that black agenda, you know, be looked at and followed through and respected and, 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 and some tangibles offered to black people for our support of the Democratic Party. God damn it, we vote 90% Democrat. We, we the fucking base. And I said it before, right now, Excuse me. Right now, we're the most powerful group out here. Right now. We really are. Because it's going to be hard for Bernie Sanders to get that motherfucking nomination. And if he does get it, it's going to be hard for Bernie Sanders to win without that black vote. Motherfuckers can say what they want. Because half the white people vote Democrat, half the white people vote Republican. Most of the goddamn Hispanics vote Republican. And the counterweight to that is us, black people. And most of us are in the country legally. Now, I'm, I'm sure most, don't get it twisted, most Hispanics are in the country legally too. But, that's, we're not, we're not, you know, being put in cages and shit like that and and, you know, being stopped at the border and all that. Not at the Mexican border anyway. But in, I'm saying that to say that the immigration fight ain't really ours. The immigration fight does not belong to ADOS. Uh, so we don't, have a, we don't have a dog in that fight. Even with the black illegal immigrants coming from Africa and the Caribbean. We, don't, we ain't got nothing to do with that shit either. Our, our central voting block votes Democrat. And that makes us the most powerful group in the country right now. 
people talking that shit, but little by little, if you're paying attention to independent media, it's coming closer and closer to you're going to need that black vote and what you're going to do for it. Run up in the churches, get on TV and dance, eat some motherfucking fried chicken and have hot sauce in your pocket. That shit don't work. All you got to do is ask Kamala Harris about that. Even though, even though I do know we ain't heard the last of that fucking broad, so don't exhale just yet. We ain't heard the last of that motherfucking broad. You know. She's probably going to wind up somebody fucking vice presidential taking. Or if a Democrat does win, she's going to wind up in a cabinet somewhere. You know. But that's what's happening. Barack Obama comes out against motherfucking Bernie Sanders. What a piece of shit he is for doing that. What a piece of shit. He just showed his true colors from doing that, from coming out against against Sanders like that. He wanted his fucking girl Hillary back in. And, and she coming out. Why these motherfuckers don't, don't just go ahead and stay in retirement? They're making good money. They're getting their speech money. But they got to come out and try to direct things. Try to keep shit the same. That's all they're trying to do. I am really tired of Hillary. And I'm tired of Barack. But anyway, that's it for now, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, you know, it's International Bench Press Day, so you know what I'm going to do. I'm on motherfucking bench press. <laughs> but again, y'all, the pieces behind me, they are for sale. I'm going to leave the description in the box. Um, and uh, hit me up if you want a piece, if you want something, you see something you like. Hit me with the email because I check my email, but I don't look a lot at my comments section a lot because I just don't. <clears throat> I probably should, but I don't. Hit me with the email. Uh, tcedwards12 at gmail.com. I'm going to put it in the description. That's it for y'all. For now, y'all. TC. And I'm out.